Mfano wa binagi kwenu. No. <laughs> Ibe mwadizi kwa kana na irundiche. <laughs> Sit down. Let me tell you about the pot. The pot represents on certain vibrations in the planet. Meaning that uh, I am a positive thinker and mind. Whatever evil you come with goes back. And the pot is, represents that very function, the force, the law of reflection. I put it there so that the people, anybody that think evil against me in any form or in breaking of color not, or, or a true incantation or invocation of any form anywhere in the world. All those efforts, this thing is a magnetic force. It will collect it. You come to my compound in Igbo land and bury any charm. It will appear here. That thing is empty. Very, very empty. I have emptied it. As you see the pot, I had it. I had another unseen. I had that produces the law of reflection. Starting from the time somebody remember to start undoing me or planning evil against me, this, at the same time, that person will start to suffer one thing or the other, torment one thing or the other. So all those things he's planning will always go back. I don't even know that he's planning such things. Just as the poet has given me a sign too before now, one of the leading antichrists became aggressive because he didn't want me. He had to hear that I'm now of a material for Christ. Everybody thought that all of us could have remained in faith with Lucifer and died just like that, waiting until the next incarnation. So thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Yes. yes can you just give a word of prayer? Encouragement your people all over yes. the world. Have faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ can never disappoint you. Yes, stand up, stand up and say this. Have faith. While having faith, you don't think evil. Or plan evil. Thank you, yes. thank you. So and, uh, your people over there, the yes. advice you want to give them. Um the advice I'm giving to you, all my former members, all my members before I become a born again, is be a born again. Join the synagogue church of all nations. No, join a living church. Not or, a, this church is not the only living church. Or any living church of your choice. Okay, thank you. Or for any this living church. Thank you, thank you very much. So, uh, Prof, you discovered this living church. There are also other living churches. Okay, the Lord just directs you here for your deliverance. Yeah. There are other living churches all over the world. Here is not the only living church. So advise them, please. Okay. Yes. There are many living churches. All over the world. All over the world. For me, I know, I recognize that of... <laughs> If you are a true born again, back me up with your nice voice. I need your chorus. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I know that money. <laughs> I know that money. I know. I know that money. That man to be judging. I know that money. That man to be judging. I know that money. I know 
دائما دائما قامي ورا I know دائما دائما قامي ورا I know I know Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for my deliverance. And I'm praying for more power to worship thee in spirit and truth. I'm praying for more ability to know thee, Lord. Because I discovered that there is nothing called enjoyment in this world. Is it beer? Is it alcohol? Is it India hemp? Is it cigarette? Is it cocaine? Is it clubbing the night? Is it what? Show me that life under the sun. That is too much to be admired. Yeah. The rich are tired with all this. The poor that has no money. When you see them at the roadside bar, they are happy with four bottles of beer. What about a man that cannot be happy with one carton of more than $25,000 worth of wine, then a million dollars worth of hard drug in a week. He cannot be happy. I discovered nothing can give you happiness in this world. Peace, peace. In my former kingdom, I made it to believe that they are all peaceful. That they have peace. While they are they are in, in the burning flame. Flame of fire. When you see the face of my former members, you discover they have no peace. One, a peaceful mind has no time for criticism, tribalism. So, but here, the peace I have never seen before. Okay, for example, how can somebody that has not been able to eat for 17 years be peaceful? When I came here first, the first that I came here, everywhere there was like a burning, like a fire. Because I was angry. I'm not happy. I was flaming up. Because one is that no food in the stomach. Two, I don't know what can even make me to eat in the next, from that moment in the next 10 years to come again. Though whether if I sleep, the past 17 years I've not eaten will lead to that. And they are telling me stories. So I was aggressive. But today, after my healing, after my deliverance, I had then the stomach opened. When my stomach opened, I became peaceful. Today I did my jogging. You can see that I have no weight when I came for the first time. But now I'm moving fine. I'm stronger. When you watch the former cassette, you can see that I had no strength. But now watch me. If there is a healthy policeman, let him come for us to do some exercise boxing. <laughs> So now, I did my exercise this morning. I jogged as a healthy man. So now, I'm thanking my Lord Jesus Christ for total deliverance and healing. For my total deliverance and healing. I thank my Lord Jesus Christ for my total deliverance and healing. And I'm telling you, eh, I, I believe in Christ. And we remain a servant of Christ throughout my life. Yeah. Hallelujah. You have listened to the best general in the other world. So it's 
giving thanks to God for the deliverance he has received. And today, Jesus is Lord. I want to hear from you, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Glory be to God Almighty. Thank you.